Hey everyone, this is Alex from Zilker Bark and we're back with HEB to bring you some holiday pet portrait tips and tricks to make your holidays even brighter. And today we're gonna to be talking about DSLR camera settings to make sure that you're getting the photos you want from your camera. One of the most important settings to get right with your dog photography is your shutter speed because if your shutter is not moving fast enough, your dog is not gonna be in focus. And it's so much easier to bring a photo up that's underexposed in post than it is to try to make a photo look like it's in focus when it's not. So in situations where you have a dog that's sitting still, you just simply have them posed and they're just looking at the camera, you're gonna wanna shoot with a shutter speed of at least one 400th of a second. And that'll account for any last second movement that the dog does. But when you're shooting those action photos, you wanna shoot considerably faster than that. You really wanna be one 1,000th of a second or even faster. Because when you're trying to stop the motion of the dog coming to the camera, you really have to have a shutter speed that's gonna be able to keep up. Another very important setting to consider when snapping great pet portraits is the mode in which you shoot. Now, many of us start off on manual mode where we're constantly adjusting all three of our settings to make the best lighting situation, but you'll soon find out that dogs move all the time. So putting them in that perfect light and being able to manipulate everything all the time might be a little bit cumbersome. So what I do is I shoot aperture priority. And what aperture priority is, is it allows you to set your ISO and set your aperture, and then it adjusts your shutter speed as you go. So as long as you can maintain a shutter speed that's fast enough for motion, fast enough for a dog sitting still, fast enough for whatever situation you need, you're gonna be set. And it'll also simplify the creative process because you don't have to manipulate additional settings. Pet photography with a DSLR may seem intimidating at first, but if you're able to utilize settings like these, it should make the job that much easier. Stay tuned, folks. We have plenty more videos for you. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.